Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Um, this uh, video is um, basically telling you about these inverter style uh, neon sign transformers. Uh, these are made by Evertron. Uh, if you can just see that uh, label just there. There you go. Evertron. You can see them on eBay. They're about UK pound. You probably pay about £22 um, for the actual unit and uh, when you actually get this unit home, you will notice the output of it. If you're going to use it for, uh, you know, for for projects or you know just to draw an arc or whatever, you notice the output is quite crap. And when you uh, try and arc the ends out, it will just keep resetting itself. <clears throat> so the thing is to do. I actually did a video of, of, of one of these transformers quite some time ago, but. Uh, I thought I'd do another one just in case of you know just to show my new subscribers it in case no one's watched the video. So what you do, you take the bottom off. Before you take the bottom off, you'll find out these four bloody horrible plastic bits were quite difficult to get out. These cover the screw heads up to stop anybody from tampering with it. But you just get a, um, a Stanley blade or of some sort and just pry it out and it'll come out. And then you just undo a four of these posi screws. So then once you've got the lid off. <clears throat> you won't be able to take the lid off completely because of the um, the kettle plug. Uh, be careful though because uh, once this unit is on, hold on a minute, I'll put the phone down. God, I can't wait for me uh, camera to come from uh, Alex993. Sending me a camera, I should hopefully get it soon. And then I'll be able to use, a, use my tripod. Anyway, back to the action. <laughs> So uh, once you've got the lid off, careful if it's plugged in because these uh, two rails on here uh, will hold a bit of charge. So uh, do disconnect first, safety plug, uh, safety first. Otherwise, you know, disconnect the plug. And uh, what you'll find out is the circuit board with the two heat sinks just there and the uh, transformer. You'll see two black wires like this go into the transformer. All you need to do is just cut one of them, just like I have just done there. And then once you've done that, you will get the full potential out of the out of the transformer. So the best thing to do is make sure that when you do first, you turn it on, is to have the wires close together because once you turn it on and you've turned the uh, potentiometer right up, you'll get a lot of corona around the uh, ferrite core, and uh, it'll produce quite a lot of heat and burn you burn your uh, windings out so because uh, this is your primary and then your secondary is in here so best thing to do with that guys I mean what I'm going to do with this I'm going to submerge the whole lot into mineral oil and uh, <clears throat> that's the better uh, because then at the end of the day nothing can arc out um, it's going to keep it all in a reasonable temperature and uh, I can turn it up without the wires touching and I won't get no corona build up because the mineral oil will, uh, will be a best for install insulation. If none of you can get any hold of any mineral oil, use baby oil. It's uh, just as good, but try not to get the scented stuff though because uh, you don't want your transformer smelling of babies now, do you? <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the output from this. Turn it right down. Of course that's not the uh, full output because I've got it turned right down. God you can smell the corona, uh, corona, the ozone. Hold on one minute. I don't want the wires to touch and get. These wires that it come with are so crap. <clears throat> They're only rated at 10 kV but uh, there's no, uh, even without with lower 10 kV you get some serious corona over these wires not very good at all I've, had a, I've actually had a shock off this earlier on um, and when it shocks you it automatically just cuts out it's not pleasant but bearable <laughs> I don't expect you, I don't, I'm not saying that to go and try it but so you can see that I'm just using that bit of uh, plastic there just to keep the wires separated because you get corona on them it's not going to work, is it? Hold on. I'll find something else. I'll use that. Let's 
keep the wires from touching. Right. I'll show you what I mean about the corona on there. You'll see, can you see it? If I turn it up, it just goes. It just goes all over the place. You see that? Absolutely crazy. See guys, <clears throat> the corona build-up is just absolutely mental around the uh, ferrites and around these wires. So that's why the original, when I had one originally, I uh, replaced the wires for some 30 kV wires, which basically they were handled together 60 kV. Uh, this is out of an older one, which I unfortunately destroyed due to pushing it too far. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you can push it with this tra particular transformer, you can push them. Um, I mean, I've just been running this for 10 minutes on full whack, just like that. And these heat sinks weren't even warm. So it's, you know, it's built for that. But if you try doing what I did, putting on a normal flyback transformer out of a TV, with only 10 turns, it completely killed it because it's meant for the particular windings like that so if you wind it and give it 50 turns or something no matter how many windings are on there you, uh, you should be fine so thought I'd share that with you guys um, get yourself one of these you've got to get one just have one in your collection thanks for watching look after yourselves and be safe and uh, we'll speak again <laughs>